Good evening. Floodwaters began to recede today, much to the relief of people who live near the raging, rain-swollen rivers across the Mid-Island. Another rainstorm last night gave the Cowichan Valley a pounding, leaving more roads and fields, uh, fields flooded. But in other parts of the island, today was a day to keep a close eye on river levels as they went down and to clean up the big mess that was left behind. A News Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has the story. He's live in our Nanaimo newsroom with details. Jonathan. Hudson, on parts of the Nanaimo River, an evacuation alert is still in place, despite the fact the floodwaters seem to be receding. In the middle of a road in Cowichan Bay, these salmon seem to think they found a new spawning ground. This is the result of another night of heavy rain. Fields flooded, roads closed. For farmers on the Cowichan Bay Flats, last night there was very little sleep. Up almost every hour checking equipment and livestock. I've been up since quarter to three and then five o'clock down here and, you know, all through the night checking on the water. At mid-morning, the Cowichan and Coxsila rivers were still rising. It's just crested and at about 11.30 this morning and we're hoping that it will go down and that we won't get any more rain. Drivers are warned to obey traffic signs and stay off flooded roads. If there are roadblocks up, please don't go through them. If the water's moving, uh, it can really do things. And they're saying that like six inches of water can, can do damage to a vehicle and get it stuck. Farther north in Cedar, the sun was out for a little while at least. But last night, the Nanaimo River was high and the rain was coming down again. Yesterday, a local state of emergency was declared in the lower parts of the Nanaimo River, which was expected to peak by midnight. But last night, there were no evacuations, just preparation. The river has gone down a bit, so that's good news. But it's still pretty full, and we it, there's not rain today, but we are anticipating uh, some more heavy rains throughout the week, all the way through till Sunday. So we're going to be remaining in the state of alert. Randy Ward has seen all this before. Tired of things in his yard floating away, he's built a guard under his trailer. Yeah, I kind of try to trap it in there, the stuff, as best I can anyway. Port Alberni is also watching the river recede. In this case, it's the Somas River. Close to spilling its banks on Sunday night, now they wait for the next November storm. We're just uh, like everywhere else. We're just uh, hoping that we get a break in the weather like we have right here and things subside a little bit and uh, we don't have a big heavy rain with a high tide at the same time. Here in Nanaimo, there was some concern about turbidity. That's muddy water mixing with drinking water. It was detected in the system, but it looks like, with the exception of some homes in the south end, turbidity is not an issue, at least not a health issue at this point. But as of this afternoon, Shimanus has a boil water notification in place as a precautionary measure, most likely due to the flooding there. Wherever you are, best check with Vancouver Island Health Authority, viha.ca, on, on the web if you're concerned. Hudson? All right, Jonathan Bartlett, thank you. You're welcome.